Hello everyone, my name is Rodrigo. This video will help you with the configuration steps and classification with SCP plugin developed by Luca Congedo. And it's a fantastic and uh, excellent plugin. I have watched that some people uh, having trouble configuration steps and I hope that this video can can help well uh, the steps well it worked with me very well right um, I follow the steps of the the tutorial of the the plugin okay and I think that the first step is complements you can go here you can go in complements after you have to install same automatic plugin semi automatic classification plugin master right uh, it is described in the tutorial you can go in options this option that stay disabled and you can choice this option uh, in my in my case that's the install it but you can add uh, like here SP right and uh, the address here you can copy the address and put here and click OK. In my case, it's already installed. Very nice. Um, after you can close it. Um, you have to go in OS View OS View Shell and you can copy this okay, this command right um, okay it's also described in tutorial okay um, this tutorial you can copy you paste uh, when you click enter um, maybe some errors can appear here and that's a step that I made when you can go here uh, in my case I am using Windows 11 uh, you can go and control panel and in this option you can put here for the installation of remote sense use okay and put okay right um, and with the the correct uh, link you press enter and the case is already 
installed well. Um, very nice. You can back here in the control panel and back with the configuration. The next steps uh, you already know uh, how we make the the sample training right and uh, in the SCP band set first you put the images in my case I am using uh, Sentinel 2C images right with the center wavelength by the band B2, B3 and B4 like this right with Sentinel but um, you can use also uh, Lensat, Seabers uh, or other satellite mages, right? Um, in this in this time, you have to run to link in the in the path, right? And we'll select the path. Very nice. Um, the next step, you can go uh, before the classification. You can go in settings, right? Debug and test dependencies in debug, uh, right? And we'll make a checklist by uh, the test dependencies. In the next step, you can go in process setting, put this um, this value and two ref CPU trades. Right? Um, in the classification, well, uh, you are red no, and you can make the test. Well, and save. And success. It's made the the classification, right? And so I hope that this video can help you in the steps. And congratulations for Luca Congedo and your team by developing this excellent plugin, right? Thank you and best records.